In this video, I'm going to explain how to install WebODM on Windows. The easiest way is to purchase one of the installers provided by webodm.org. But in this video, I'll show you how you can install it from scratch manually. Click on the Go to GitHub button and then scroll down to the instructions. What we need to do for Windows is install Docker Desktop. Click on Get Docker Desktop and execute the installer. The installer will download the package and you can keep the defaults. Here I did a fast forward for the unpacking of the files and the installing of the files. Uh, it will also ask at some point to uh, log out and log in again to complete the installation. The next step is to clone the repository from GitHub. Therefore we need to install Git if you have not installed it already. The link is provided here on the page. Download the latest release. Run the installer and keep the defaults of the wizard. Once it's done, Uncheck View Release Notes and check Launch Git Bash and click Finish. We need the Bash console to clone the GitHub repository, so I'm pasting here the code. That will take some time, so I did a fast forward. and go to the webodm folder and run the webodm.sh start. Also that will take some time so I did a fast forward and in the end your uh, docker image is running and you can uh, open it in a browser. But the easy way for Windows is to just open uh, the browser from the Docker uh, window. So go to Docker and under Containers Apps you find WebODM already running. That's the result of the command that we executed. And here you see the different uh, sub uh, processes. You can see that they are running. Uh, we're interested in uh, opening the web app in a browser so you can click that button and then when you do that the first time it celebrates that you made it until this point. There you can uh, create a username and a password, create the account and uh, get started to work with uh, WebODM. If you want to stop WebODM, you can close the browser and go here and click the stop button. That will stop all the running processes, which you see happening here when it gives the code exited. If you want to start Docker again, look for uh, the Docker icon in your taskbar. And there you can click on the play button to start the WebODM container. And uh, once it's finished uh, launching all these uh, sub-processes, you can launch the web app by clicking that open in browser button again. Log in with the credentials and start using WebODM on Windows.